Hi students, so today we are going to learn about nutrition and food technology. So basically this is a chapter that I like the most because um, I like about nutrient and I like to be healthy and I, I just like, I, I think it's the most practical chapter that we can apply in life that after you grow old or so you need to use this chapter because you need to know. So uh, a smart consumer, are you a smart consumer or when you buy things, food you just buy because you like to eat or because when you buy egg this thing is not healthy i want to see whether should i eat this thing should i not have it? do you read the level of the food that you take so basically you need to read for example if i buy chili i see as it depends on it then probably i won't take it because it's not good for your health so uh, when i buy butter and the butter say um hydrogenated oil or something like that I, I won't buy or saturated fat something like that you need to know that's why they put in front right um, saturated fat and so on then it's not good unsaturated fat is good so they promote in front and one thing you need to look for is I, I cannot say the brand name ah. it's like coca-cola tampa calorie pepsi tampa calorie but I, I like to drink soft drink but is it tampa calorie very really healthy ah? and I think you need to Google and search it, okay? Tampa calorie might be worse than the calorie. Yeah? Might be, I say might, the word might. And um, due to the artificial sweetener. So we can go and check this out. Doesn't mean Tampa calorie is a good thing. So you need to learn. In Malaysia, I think Malaysia did very good. We got the MOH and um, I think it's quite strict. The food labeling, uh, the food. Uh, the thing that if you didn't comply to the SOP by the MOH, the MOH can target balik license. So I think in Malaysia, I think they are, um, it's really good MOH in terms of um, monitoring the food product and labeling. But doesn't mean all things they are, the food is good, lah, correct or not? Even the food is not healthy, it's still selling. For example, like fried chicken, it's not healthy, but it's still selling, right? And um, KFC, McDonald, but you don't eat you every day, right? If you eat every day, then it is not good. So, um, is the serving of nasi lemak example of balanced diet? Do you think it is the balanced diet? So, probably the answer is no, because there are too much of carbohydrate and fats. Correct or not? Because you got fried chicken, fried ikan bilis, fried peanut, and these fats and carbohydrate. We got a little bit of fiber and vitamin in here, which is timun and you got eat timun or not? Must eat the timun, ah. please. Please eat the timun and uh, some protein, egg, okay? Boy egg. Malnutrition. So we know the word nutrition is nutrition, ah, vitamin. And mal means like not enough, not enough vitamin. So we can see this one is a few problem of, for example, like goiter, scurvy, kwashiorko, marimus, and rickett. This one you remember, right? Goiter, due to lack of what? Still remember or not? I think in form 2, ah, form 2. Goiter is lack of iodine, scurvy is lack of vitamin C, kwashiorko is lack of protein, rickett is lack of, could be three things, vitamin D, calcium, or phosphorus. And for marasmus also it's the same lah, huh? lack of protein. So these are the several problems in um, in the health. I think in Malaysia it's quite good lah. In Malaysia, and we, we seldom see these children because we in Malaysia have a lot of food and we like Malaysia food. Concept of pingan sehat. Yes, this is the concept of pingan sehat. The thing that you eat, are you following this? You should have like quarter of it is rice. But Malaysian usually have rice, right? But I go to Mamak that put a lot, a lot of rice and I say kurang sikit. After kurang sikit, I need to say kurang sikit. After I say kurang sikit, I say kurang sikit. Because actually you just need quarter and the people always put the food so much until I cannot put the lao on top of it. I cannot even close because the nasi already fill the polystyrene box. And fish, so again we have protein, fats, another quarter and vitamin and uh, fruit and vegetable is stated here, you need to have 50%. So I think this is a balanced diet that everyone should have daily, especially our lunch and dinner, right, which we eat more at the time. I think we should have something like this. 
I think we don't take heavy breakfast, right? I don't know about you, but I think Malaysia, we don't usually take healthy, uh, under healthy breakfast, but I mean heavy breakfast. Okay, so this is the concept of uh, Pinyang Sehat Malaysia. So we can see these are the few examples. I mean, follow these rules, okay? 25% carbohydrate, 25% um, fish, protein, and meat, and this one, it will be, half of it will be vegetable and uh, minerals, okay? Calorie value. So we need to calculate our calorie. When we eat, we need to see how much calorie we eat because it's about sugar. Too much of calorie that you take, it might cause diabetes, which is actually very common in Malaysia, correct? Now, because in Malaysia, any you can find anywhere people with diabetes because they eat too much sugar. I didn't eat too much sugar. Yes, you didn't eat too much sugar, but you eat too much rice, and rice is actually sugar. So calorie value, calorie value, you need to, how to calculate, how I know this thing got a lot of calorie or not. First thing you need to know, one calorie equals to 4.2 joule. If you are studying physics, you know one calorie equals to 4.2 joule is an energy, E equals to mc squared, correct or not? So how to calculate the energy? Um, SI unit for energy is Joule and we need to know how to calculate it. If you still remember the formula of energy equals to E equals to MC squared, correct or not? I think this formula is found by Einstein, is it? So, so M is the mass. This is the constant, a number la, 4.2 usually. And this is the temperature. So by doing mass times the constant times the temperature, I can get the amount of energy that I want. A rice got a lot of calorie because you just need to burn the rice. If the rice can produce a lot of fire, then it got a lot of calorie. If less fire, then less calorie. I can take butter. Can I take butter and burn it? I'm sure if butter got a lot of oil, it will burn a lot. So I know butter is a lot of calorie because you can burn it. Um, let's say I take vegetable. Can you burn vegetable? Yes, vegetable also got calorie. But you burn vegetable very fast, it will the fire will gone. So the vegetable actually got less calorie. Um, how about you say Coca-Cola or what? Yes, it also got calorie. It's just because they got liquid. What you can do is to just dry up all the liquid, you got the sugar, you, st you still can burn the sugar, okay? So this is the how they measure it. So they measure the food using an apparatus called Bohm calorie meter in photograph 2.3. So this is the Bohm calorie meter, which to measure the calorie. So what you do is you just put inside and this machine will measure it for you. And... So we can see from here for the gram that they put k kilojoule per gram. Um, I don't know whether the question will ask you. Let's say they ask you, then you need to unknow what is the how to say. You need to convert okay from calorie to energy or energy to calories. It is the same thing, and it depends on the mass of the thing. Correct or not? Um, so this one is kilojoule per gram, carbohydrate is 16.7, fat is 37.6, protein is 16.7. Um, what we can know from this graph is we can see that for the same amount of fat, the energy level for fat is usually 2 to 1, correct or not? Because um, 16 times 2 is 32 around here. So let's say I eat 10 gram of fats is equivalent to I eat 20 gram of carbohydrate. Or if I can say, if I eat 10 gram of or butter, is equivalent to 20 gram of rice. Makes sense, right? If you eat 10 gram of butter, it's equivalent to 20 gram of rice because butter got more calorie. Let's look at the question. Let's say the question say, and the calorimeter is measure um, 100, I, I make it easy, la, um, 100 joule 
for example, let's say uh, for example, 100 Joe, how much calorie is the thing? So you need to convert Joe to calorie. Okay, you need to convert Joe to calorie. 100 Joe to calorie. Let's look at the mathematics. Here got a bit mathematics. I know you don't like it, but it's mathematics. So assuming 1 calorie equals to 4.2 Joe. See? 1 calorie equals to 4.2 Joe. So if the question say 100, 100 Joe equals to X calorie. X equals to this one times this one divided by this one. See, remember? So 100 times 1 divided by 4.2 and you use your calculator, you get 100 divided by 4.2. You get 23.8 calorie. 23.8. So these are the example how you want to convert calorie to energy and energy to calorie in case the question asks. Um, I think it will ask, okay? But I think most students cannot do this because it's about calculation and students need to do practice. So basically, you need to know is you need to know how to change from calorie to joule and joule to calorie. This one you need to know. This one you need to know is the ratio. Fat and carbohydrate, the ratio is always 2 to 1. Different kind of food estimation of calorie value. Hmm. So again, for sugar, we can see sugar got 100% calorie, meat, palm, and what. And when, I talk, when I'm referring to cal calorie, is usually is carbohydrate, fat, and proteins. Okay? But, but of course, as we know, fats got more. Two compared to carbohydrate will be one. So, um, and then uh, blue color is the water. So at here, we can see the calorie value the for this one so the highest will be palm oil the second will be butter so if you want to eat something that make you very full kenyang we might take this one or the the rest will be the rice bread and sugar the less calorie is a fiber um it depends on you as a student i don't think you need a lot of carbohydrate and fat because you don't you are not I mean, if, unless you're always athletic, you like to run, you like to go play football and what, then you take more carbohydrate and fats. Um, as a student, we need to take more protein because you want to grow tall and handsome, correct or not? You want to become tingy so that the girl will like you, correct or not? If short guy, I don't know. I don't want to be racist here. Um, fiber. Fiber is important so that it can prevent constipation. Constipation means cannot bear up and fiber help you to bear up poop, a nice poop, beautiful poop, then you need protein and fiber. Um, carbohydrate fat and fat usually, I think the problem with Malaysia is we have too much of carbohydrate and fat that some people is becoming fatter and fatter got a lot of diabetes because you got too much carbohydrate and fat and usually in Malaysia lack of fiber because lack of fiber will have problem like ji chong in Chinese we call it and also due to lack of fiber and I can see even some of my friends also have this problem. So, yep, uh, fiber. So, let's see. So, sandwich A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D. Which of the sandwich A, B, C, D is the healthiest? Explain your answer. So, I um, think this one will be no right and no wrong answer, right? First, we've got vegetable and fiber, protein, and so on. Experiment 2.1 to estimate the calorie value several sample of food using calorimeter. So they do the experiment and this is the simple thing of calorimeter because what you need to do is you just need to burn it and see how much the temperature increase. The more it increase, the more calorie it is. For example, this one I can take um, butter, I can take peanut, I can take um, some more got what I can take. I can take rice and so on. Okay, so anything that I can burn, I can take. Um, okay, so they are using this formula 4.2 E equals to mc squared. 
but they are not using e equal to mc square huh? they are using this formula so we just follow this one um how to do this one for example is there any example okay let's say for the example um groundnut absorbius and bread so basically absorbius is a fish so of course i think we not got more second will be the the bread or the fish will be almost the same um let's let's give an answer let's say uh, um, initial temperature for water will be 27 assuming 27 celsius and the final temperature is 35 27 and here will be let's say it's lesser 32 27 26 lah, huh? then here i think will be let's say put 29 so change temperature you just need to minus this one so you get here change of temperature is 7 celsius i don't need to put the unit because the unit is here so i, I don't need to put the unit so here will be 5 and here will be Three. So basically, these are the energy, the temperature that change correct or not. Of course, in the exam, they will give you this one and they ask you to do something like this, fill in the blank. So they ask you to calculate the calorie value using this formula. So calorie value equals to 4.2 times mass of water times change of temperature divided the mass of food. So calorie value equals to, let's say for ground nut. For ground nut, um, 4.2 okay so i just write here uh, calorie equals to for here is 4.2 um time mass of water mass of water is 10 so i put here 10 time change of temperature let's say it's 7 so i put 7 divided by the 10 i write properly divided by uh, mass of the sample food gram times 1000 Math of the sample say 1 times 1000 is 1000. So 1000, I just put here 1000. So what I get? 4.2 times 10 times 7 divided by 1000. I will get 0 0.03 kilo, 0 0.03. Zero point zero three. This is the calorie value. Okay, so it will be like that. Okay, so this will be the answer. Zero point zero three. Um, one. I don't know whether I want to say this, but the tricky part is sometimes the unit. But I don't think the science they will ask until this question now because I thought just now I see here kilo, so I'm just wondering whether should I put. You need to differentiate the. You know, sometimes the question put kilo joule and for example, 100 gel gram negative 1 and 100 kilo joule gram negative 1. These two is a different thing. So, just want to double check whether this unit do I need to divide it by 1000. So, according to this formula, this one exam won't come out lah, just for teacher as a reference because I need to check whether my answer is correct or not. So, let us see here, I will cut here no more. The unit G here, I will cut here no more. So it's actually 4.2 Joule over gram. So it's correct. Um, kilo means divided by 1000. That's why they put here 1000. So 0 0.03 is the correct unit. Not Joule. I no need to divide another 1000 because here got 1000. Hi, no. We got this one. I cut this one. I cut this one. I cut this one. I cut this one. So I get actually 4.2 Joule over um, gram. So it's actually 4.2 4.2 divided by the answer lah. Huh? Anyway, it's not it, the, the, the exam won't come out this so difficult lah. Huh? I don't think it's um this one I think you can do by yourself, right? You can try and do by yourself. Let's say um for this one, I don't want to I write it lah huh? just in case you don't know. 4.2 again the same formula, calorie equals to 4.2 according to this formula time mass of water which is 10 so i write here times 10 times the change of temperature change of temperature is 5 over 1000 and you do 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 and you got the answer for the exorbious um 
it might come out in the exam so i want you to practice by yourself okay maybe you should pause this video and try to do by yourself see you can do or not okay okay so let's do this one is the hypothesis accepted what is the conclusion for this experiment so what is the hypothesis let's read the hypothesis the calorie value of groundnut is higher than the bread and exorbious i think it's true lah huh? yes because the calorie value for groundnut is will be higher than this one so we already proven this is science right it's not i say you say is we do experiment now you want to see i give you the report and see you see here got the more value here got less if you say me wrong then why this experiment is wrong so you need to justify by talking then we are talking science not talking about um, politic law or religion is something that is through a science is through a systematic research we can observe we can study okay so yes and the conclusion of the experiment we can see that the groundnut indeed has more calorie compared to the fish and the bread question so um we will stop until here and i will continue this answer in the next video thank you and bye bye